Welcome to a predictive analytics session provided by Predictive Solutions, the four safety truths. So in my last session, I asked the question, can workplace injuries be predicted? Well, through our work with the Language Technology Institute at CMU, we've created four safety truths. And in the following several sessions, I will talk about these truths. So can we predict injuries using big data? Well, we feel like we can. We've taken over 100 million observations and we've ran predictive analytics on it. And through that, we have accuracy, accuracy levels between 80 to 97 percent in predicting injuries. And in this one example, you can see that we can predict 75 percent of the incidents. So on one of the axes, you have the number of injuries that actually occurred versus the number of predicted injuries. So you can see that nice circle that goes along the line that helps us predict when an injury is going to occur. So from that data, from that predictive model, we've created four safety truths based on our research. The first one is if we can increase the number of audits, inspections, observations, people out there looking at things in the field, in locations and facilities, we tend to see lesser injuries. And in this example graph, we see this in a number of our uh, clients that we work with. As the number of inspections and audits and observations go up, which is the blue line, the number of injuries goes down. So our second safety truth is if we can increase participation and the diversity of the observers, we also see a decrease in injuries. So in other words, we don't just want the safety people out there doing observations. We want a lot of different types of people doing observations. Safety operations, people from office, different facilities, different business units. And if we do that, we have a lot more buy-in and we see fewer injuries. So the third safety truth, now this kind of gets into the quality of the observations and inspections being done. If we see too many 100% safe observations being turned in, in other words, they're not finding anything risky, um, those sites typically have a higher number of injuries. Now kind of the exact opposite, if we see locations or facilities that have too many risky behaviors coming in, and nothing's being done about it, then that site also has a higher propensity of injuries. So how does safety net help? Well, our application takes all this information from the different locations and facilities, runs it through a predictive model, and if it finds something out of the ordinary, it'll red flag it. And that alerts us that something is not quite right, and there's a higher probability that that site or location is going to have an injury. As a matter of fact, two out of three times an injury will occur within 30 days. So in the next several sessions, I'll go through each one of these safety truths and kind of talk about how we can use that information to predict and prevent injuries. Mm -hmm.